This short telephoto lens was made by Carl Zeiss Jena in former East Germany. This is the later all-black version, which was released in the mid-1970s and is characterized by its multi-coated elements and its retractable lens shade. The early version of this lens is the so-called zebra version, which does not have a built-in lens hood and its elements are only single-coated. The letter S, seen here in the front, is an abbreviation of the word sonar. Carl Zeiss Jena made several variations of this lens and quite often you can find copies of it with the word sonar written along the front plate. The very first sonar lens made by Carl Zeiss was designed in 1929 by Dr. Ludwig Bertele. Sonar lenses are famous for their excellent sharpness and low production costs, which is why they were copied by many lens manufacturers. The optical design of this multi-coated sonar consists of four elements in three groups. Aperture ranges from f3.5 to f22 with click stops in between. The diaphragm is made of six rounded aperture blades. This lens accepts filters with 49mm diameter. It weighs 368 grams. Focus throw is a bit on the long side and it's approximately 300 degrees. This lens comes with a convenient built-in metal lens hood. On the back, this lens has an M42 mount. I use just a cheap M42 to NEX adapter, so I can use it on my Sony camera. Minimum focusing distance from your subject to your film plane or sensor is 1 meter. The Carl Zeiss Jena multi-coated sonar 135mm f3.5 is one truly excellent short telephoto. Even though it is neither the cheapest nor the fastest vintage 135mm out there, I still think that it's a great addition to anybody's kit if you're looking for a lens in this focal length. With this sonar, sharpness is not an issue because this lens is sharp even wide open and it gets very sharp as you stop it down reaching peak performance across the frame by f8. And since its elements are multi-coated, it produces beautiful colors with great saturation and contrast. There's something very special about the colors that come out of this lens. They're vibrant and really vivid with a pleasing quality that you can expect from a multi-coated Carl Zeiss lens. If you have colorful subjects, that's when this lens really shines. When it comes to chromatic aberrations, I did notice a tiny bit of green and magenta fringing, especially with backlit subjects, but for the most part they're not much of an issue since they can be easily corrected in post. With this lens, distortion is not a problem, but there is some vignetting mostly visible if you shoot it wide open. The autofocus blur that comes out of the sonar is quite nice even though not the smoothest since its maximum aperture is only f3.5 but for the most part it is pleasing and not distracting. When shooting it wide open, the autofocus lights are round in the center and become more cat eye shaped towards the edges. As you can expect from a German-made lens, its build quality is on a very high level with a super sturdy all-metal construction and beautifully machined parts. The one thing I really love about this sonar is its compact design. This lens is quite small for a short telephoto, and on top of that can focus down to only one meter, which is better than many vintage 135mm lenses. And you also get a built-in metal lens hood, a very handy feature since this lens can flare in some situations. So all in all, this multi-coated sonar is really special. You simply can't go wrong with it if you're looking for a vintage 135mm lens. It's solid, it produces images with excellent sharpness and gray colors, it has shorter than usual minimum focusing distance, and all of that in a compact and really well-built package. And before we wrap things up, I wanted to share with you a little clip that I made with this lens while I was exploring the marshlands of the southeast. I have to say that I'm quite impressed at how well this lens performed when used for video. Another plus for this wonderful multi-coated sonar. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time here at Vintage Optics.